Hello, so in this video I want to show you how you can install capacitor plugins with HTML5 to app, the website I created. We will use um, this template here. We will install the capacitor dialog plugin. Then we will uh, build the app online and test it in the simulator. So let's get started. Open that in a new tab. Increase the browser size. Then download the template. You can uh, read all of this if you want. I just download the template. Open the console. I will go to the desktop. Download the template. Yes. Okay, then cd into the template and open it with Visual Studio Code. Okay, you can see this is the project. It has a W folder with the index file. It says hello from my app. It has a index.js file, some styles. And now I want to open it in the browser to test it. The W folder. Okay, this is the app. Let's open the console. Uh, the bundle is not found. That's because we have to build it first. Open a new terminal window. npm run build. We'll create the bundle. And let's go back, and the error is gone. Okay, so we're ready to install the plugin. Um, as of now, uh, you can only install plugins that don't require to modify uh, native code. I will uh, add that uh, later uh, next week, I believe. For now, we just grab. Uh, the dialog plugin which does not require any modifications so I will install it and add it to the config file as well as a string let's see it's just like that okay then we will add it to the JS file See, just grab that code snippet here, and in the index file, we create a button uh, show dialog, and in the index file, we will grab that button and query selector. We just have one button, so I grab that. Add event listener, click and show alert. Okay, then we get an alert message. This is an error. We we'll type it off stop. Okay, then let's build the app again. Okay. Go back to the browser, somewhere here, we have the button, if you click, you get that error. Okay, so good so forth. We have our app uh, finished. So we can now zip it and upload it. So we'll close all of these things here. And in the readme file, same as uh, here says we have to zip it and I have I'm on a Windows machine so I used hard.exe to bundle the app okay let's see okay done I have the app.zip file reveal in file explorer okay then we just have to upload that zip file in here okay I want to make a debug build uh, file is being processed 
Okay. Upload the status. It's pending. So I will close all the things I don't need anymore. And wait for the app to finish building. I will make a quick break here. Okay, so a few minutes later, the build was successful. So we download it, open it, and extract it on the desktop. Let's see. Uh, yes. Okay, let's see where is the file. Somewhere here on my other screen. Oh, yes, here. And here is the Android phone. Oh, it's a bit too big for this screen. Okay, so I will install that. Okay, let's see. App name. Okay, splash screen, hello from my app. When I click, there is a native dialog uh, screen. So yes, it did work. And uh, that's pretty awesome. And I will work uh, on support for uh, all other capacitor plugins and capacitor community plugins uh, next week. And till then, uh, have a nice day.